welcome super souls to the moon magic tarot channel thank you so so much for being here today for this reading or readings in fact now this is one of my sort of short sweet what do you need to hear right now from your spirit team what messages do they wish to pass to you um, for today literally here and now we're actually going to do two different readings just two uh, I'm going to draw literally a handful of runes from this bag and one card as well to guide you in so runes for reading number one runes from reading number two looks like reading number two has a few extras going on here uh, let's have a look and see what we are guided to use for reading one and reading two okay I'm going to put your runes out so that you can see them okay I'm not going to talk about them as yet. I'm just going to put them there so you can see them and use your intuition to guide you in. Your card is open intuition. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. And let's have a look at our runes on reading number two. These are the runes for reading number two and your card is Ascended Masters. I hope that you can see that. Okay, Super Souls. So, uh, open your intuition. Wow. <laughs> Trust your intuition, Super Souls. These are very to the point here and now readings, connection with your spirit team, what you need to know right now. Um, Super Souls, I will leave the video running for just a moment or two so you have time to zone in here and tune in and um, press the pause button if you need longer. Uh, Timestamps, as always, are in the information box and the comments for phone users. Tons and tons of love and see you in the readings. Beautiful reading number one. Okay, so a here and now reading. You're being guided. That's really, really clear. Open your intuition, seek clarification. There is something you need to see and very especially it is connected to some aspect of partnership. So you're being guided and connected and it's in response or in relationship to a somebody. We have the rune of Othilla of separation and the rune of fertility sitting at the top here. Um, what this is actually saying to me, Super Souls, is um, you're actually in the process of moving through and beyond something, but you're still in that zone of, you know, like when we navigate from one place to another and as we navigate, it's like you're not in the old place, but you're not quite in the new place either yet. Now we're seeing something fantastic coming on its way here, which is beautiful. We've got the rune of possessions, nourishment and the rune of harvest. So we're seeing something um, unexpectedly good coming to you. The, the possessions and nourishment rune is, is just a fantastic vibe. It's a fantastic energy. It's ambition satisfied, unexpected rewards and gains, surprises, stuff arriving that you know, the good stuff, the stuff of harvest, the stuff of fulfillment. And you are being guided. You are absolutely being guided. Um, we have the rune of protection um, and also the rune of openings. Let's draw more cards and see what else we are shown. What message is coming through? You're needing to see something, that's for sure, or to trust your gut feeling about something, trust your intuition. We're going to draw from the Angel Answers cards as well. I think two for you. Uh, some tarot cards as well. And there we are. Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh, wow, you have Dragonfly as your first card, your first Oracle card. This is about transformation, but dragonflies, particularly in Native American traditions, 
Talk about seeing through the illusion. You need to see something, seek clarification. We have the cards of abundance and improving health. So we're seeing st something is coming to you, something's being given to you. Improving health. Mm. What are we being shown here? Reading number one. What are we being shown? Let's have a look at some of your, I'm going to move these up. <laughs> Let's have a look at your tarot cards. What is the message right here and right now that your team want you to know about? Yeah, what is happening here for you? We have five of swords. We have three of wands. We have 10 of chalices. And we have four of chalices. Okay. Mm. I'm going to place these here. Okay. Okay. Super souls, that in between -y energy, moving from one zone to another, one step to another. You've, I think you have actually completed something in some way, shape or form, or you've um, I mean, if you were hypothetically um, writing a book, for example, and, and you want to seek a publisher, uh, you've completed the book, but you haven't yet reached out to a publisher or an agent or something. There's something that there, there is actually almost an in-between stage that you actually need to take action over. I, I think there's been deliberation, maybe, uh, maybe you're tired because you've done a certain amount of work and you kind of know the end goal. It's like there's something that you're needing to do to move something forwards. Yeah, it's, it's like steps or stages. You've, you've done something, you've, you've, you've created something, you've taken the first step, you've initiated something. It's arrived at a, a sort of a stage, and, but, but it's not the end goal, okay? There's more to be done, three of wands, more work to be done. There's like a, yeah, it is, it's these stepping stones of accomplishment, of achievement, of abundance. It may even be that you've written something or created something or done something, but you're now either tired or lacking in the confidence to reach out, to take it further forwards, but you kind of need to. Open your intuition. Um, you are being guided to move something from one stage to another. Now it connects to partnership. So whatever this is, whether it's a creative project where you're going to need to collaborate or you're looking for, you know, any kind of partnership, any kind of connection, any kind of friendship, something has been established in terms of the initial meeting, connection, creation, whatever that is. To really achieve the end result, you know, it, something is going to be given to you. You're going to get the results, but you're needing to do something to move that forwards. Now, for some of you, that is literally about um, keeping your energy clean and keeping your focus. But I think for most of you, there is a need to... Uh, to literally something's going to be taken further forwards. You may even find somebody approaches you um, and you then need to ass assess and evaluate, but you are definitely in a, an in-between, a transitionary stage of something. There's going to be a connection to another person. This is going to involve a connection to another person that will move something forwards towards its end goal, towards its final completion, its, its complete emergence. Dragonfly is absolutely about transition, seeing through the illusion. For some of you, you may have deliberations where you sort of, you've done something and you're going through the, is it really good enough stage in your head? Questioning, is this good enough? Will it really work out? You know, you've put together whatever you have, maybe you've completed the book or the, you know, the idea or, you know, whatever. Something is at an initial stage. It's, it's actually going to be, um, it, 
it's it's going to be fulfilling it's going to work for you we've got ten of cups here ten of chalices but there's just some aspect of either self-doubt or tiredness or something that is in is sort of almost inhibiting you or slowing you down from taking action um, the reaching out that will then bring back or bring to you the next kind of stages of completion you're needing to reach out whatever that is and it does connect to some aspect of partnership and to another person I'm going to draw some more runes for you okay we have the rune of defense we have the rune of strength we have the rune of protection we have the rune of journey and we have the rune of the spiritual warrior okay this is really interesting Rune of Defence, mm, along with the Rune of Strength. The Rune of Strength always tells me that the universe has your back. Okay, you are definitely being protected. You are being guided. This is fascinating, though, the Rune of Defence. I'm wondering if your defences are activated in some way, shape or form. Um, maybe there is, you know, your spirit team really are saying to you, look, I, I, may, maybe the wobble here about moving something forwards, about reaching out to try and move something ahead. It, it's connecting and challenging um, some of your personal insecurities, your self-doubt, your fears that something won't work out. Maybe something, um, yeah, may, maybe you have had experiences before of either rejection or something that was left you feeling despondent or you were unsure. And it, it's almost like there's something of that memory lingering and it's stopping you from moving this forwards. I think we are literally seeing defensiveness here, you know, in that way, that sort of slight, slight lack of self-belief really. The Rune of Journey says, journey inwards and remove any inner obstacles to your success. So you are being invited to move through and beyond any inner blocks. I'm definitely seeing a personal inner block to success. And this is what you need to let go of. And that is what your spirit, your spirit guides, your team are saying to you. Be discerning and also trust yourself, trust your intuition, trust that you can listen to yourself. If you are in a good space, you can, you know, kind of align your energy and trust what you are shown and what you receive. You're being guided in this instance. It is time to move something forwards. It's time to check out possibilities. Okay. And in a, I want to say in a gentle, intuitive way, check out possibilities, see what you are shown, see the potential openings. You're in this in-between space. Something is sort of completed already. Um, it's kind of like making a cake and, you know, you haven't yet chosen which oven to put it in kind of thing. Yeah, that's a silly analogy, maybe. But there's a need to actually make it make some choices here and look at those possibilities, trusting that you have the ability to be discerning um, that the choice choices will come to you. We are seeing a massively good end result here. It's like connecting to the right people. Trust your intuition. Allow yourself to explore different avenues around people, whether this is community groups, friendship groups, something you have created, something professional, even in intimacy. Check out options. Be the one who reaches out at this stage. Don't sit in any form of despondency from the past um, because you're needing to take an action here to move this in between space forwards. Let's finish this reading with an affirmation card for you. I'm seeing uh, that one there. Your affirmation card says the universe is filled with endless opportunities for it's for me, but for you. Right. The universe is filled with endless opportunities for you. That is your affirmation of 
the day, super souls. Um, check out the possibilities. Trust that your intuition will guide you. You will know which of those doorways as you make inquiries is right for you. Connects to collaboration in some way with another person, whether that is professional, intimate, or to do with your community, whatever it is, check out the possibilities it's time to reach out rather than sit on your laurels um, uh, you are being guided and we are seeing a fabulous end result for the final stage of something but something has to be done to get you there and open that door check out the possibilities um, because they are absolutely sitting out there and waiting for you super souls that is your short sweet here and now today's reading tons and tons and tons of love to you and i look forward to seeing you um in some other readings don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to get notification of my readings as soon as i upload them and of course press the little bell icon too tons of love super souls Welcome reading number two, beautiful people. Um, you have the card of Ascended Masters, Create Open Communication. You have the rune of um, Hagalas, Disruption, Gateway. You have the rune of Constraint and the rune of the Self. You have the rune of Movement and the rune of Signs, Signals, Synchronicities. You have the rune of Journey and you have the rune of wholeness, the path you must follow. I need to say, Super Souls, that if you have been drawn to both of these readings, um, you are absolutely being guided. Something is at a point of turn in your world. Obviously, these are two separate readings and I'm just connecting in with reading number one, what I've just been uh, tuning in with. But this is a reading which is saying something is absolutely at a turning point. You're at a gateway. But there's something holding you back here, the rune of constraint. And yet the constraint seems to be coming from you, coming from within you. Now, what we have here is divine guidance here. We have the rune of movement, the bettering of any situation. Something needs to gather momentum and you're being shown signs, symbols, synchronicities. There's a a calling here from your spirit team to remove any inner blocks to your progress and to move ahead and move forwards. What's the reticence about? What's going on? Now, this is a here and now reading, a, a today's reading. It certainly feels like this is a day to take action, super souls, in something. Um, and both these readings seem to be indicating this. Let us draw more cards for you. Reading number two, let's just see what else is taking place for reading number two. It feels very buzzy, the energy of reading number two. I do need to say that to you, I really do. There's your cards, they've literally rolled out of the pack. Okay, let us have a little look and see what we have. Okay, so you have turtle energy, beautiful very much connected to creation. We have remain positive and no need to worry. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I am like really quite tingly ab about this. We have eight of swords. We have nine of wands. Okay. We have three of wands. This is just fascinating. I did say it's a bit like, and we're sort of tuning in with reading number one. Both of the messages today are about moving something forwards. This is slightly different, but actually if you've been drawn to both, it, it's gonna make complete sense to you if you check them both out. Right, this, this is a point, this is about creating something very, very specifically, um, doing something, taking action. You're being guided. There's something you actually have to offer but you're having a wobble. Now, th there are differences between reading one and reading two. Re reading one had an emphasis on something else that I'm not going to voice it in case that reading isn't for you. This reading, reading number two, your here and now guidance from your spirit team is that this is absolutely about, um, there's some situation around you that it, it actually is being guided. It's being moved forwards, but you are Maybe you are just an excessive worrier. 
isn't it funny when I say warrior it almost sounds like warrior and I'm really seeing that you know the playing of that word that the warrior and the warrior it's like there needs to be a shift to, to the warrior energy rather than the warrior energy there's something around you some energy some situation some circumstance um, that has yeah, it, it, it's basically, it is going to shift and move forwards, but it's troubling you, it's bothering you. It, it's it's either some, something, for some of you, you may be in the middle of doing something and you've just had a ton of interruptions and it's causing you to feel like, gosh, is the universe giving me a message to say, because there's been interruptions, is the universe giving me a message to say um, that actually this isn't the right pathway for me? And the answer to that, your spirit team is saying no. You are on the right course. There's something you are uh, wanting to do, something that you're in the process of manifesting and creating. There's something you desire. There's something that you desire. Um, it's also there's something that's absolutely right for you. The rune of wholeness. But I think you are constantly worrying about it. Almost to the point where it's... You know how sometimes if we really, really are, are, are going over and over and over something or we're constantly focusing on what isn't right rather than what we wish to achieve. It's, it's, it's like you're being invited to shift your energy and you're also being told here so clearly um, you are being guided that there is something of this point of turn at the moment where you're moving from one thing to another you're in a space that maybe something hasn't, you haven't got to, to what you want yet. You kind of, you know, you, it's almost like you know what you don't want <laughs> and you have an idea of what you do want and you're in the in-between space, but possibly still too much definition going on around kind of what you don't want. You, you know, if, if we think of what we don't want as an opportunity, so something around you isn't feeling quite right. It's either disruptive or it just doesn't feel okay. You'd like to move on from it. You have a good idea of what you want in some way, shape or form. It may not be completely clear in the details, but it's kind of like, uh, you know, if, if you were to take a page of paper and you draw a line down the middle and you write the stuff you don't like on maybe the left hand side, then on the right hand side, you, you write the opposite of it. Because sometimes what's going on in our mind is, gosh, I don't want that. Or, you know, you know, it, let's say you were talking about a job, you would be thinking, if you're in a job you don't like, well, I don't, let's say you're doing shift work, you might be saying, oh, I really don't want a job with shift work. In which case, instead of focusing on, I don't want a job that has shift work, the opposite of that would be focusing on, um, you know, I want to work, you know, nine to five or, you know, nine to one or wh whatever the hours are, you know, or I want flexi working hours. So your fo it, it's like your spirit team is saying, focus your energy on what you do want rather than what you don't. Okay. There is something that is absolutely right for you out there that you are being guided towards. Okay, and it does feel like it will be a significant opportunity. The turtle energy is about creation. Um, it's about new beginnings as well. Very, very, very powerful card. So, and the Ascended Masters, you know, create open communication. It really does tell you that you are being guided, you know, and you can seek advice and guidance, you know, ask for help, advice and guidance from the Ascended Masters. They are steering you into something that is going to be, it's going to bring out the big, the biggest, best version of you. Okay, so it's a fantastic card to have, but it is interesting because this card also says even when you connect with the Ascended Masters, there's always a higher vibration and a lower vibration as there is to everything. It's like a shadow side of a, of a card. And what they're actually kind of saying is, you know, it's more important to be asking for what you do want than asking for what you don't or focusing or saying, well, I don't want you. Do you see what I mean? It's it's they are far more able to help you 
give you the signs, the signals you need, help this circumstance or situation around you to gather momentum, move ahead quickly. If you can remove those inner obstacles um, and place your focus on those things you do want. So I think that that job uh, kind of um, focus is, you know, perhaps a way of a, a good a good example here. So yeah, rather than I don't want to work shifts, I want to work flexi hours. So you're stating really clearly the qualities of the something you want and placing your emphasis there. Let's draw a few more runes for you. We have three coming out. Super nice. Look at this. We have the rune of defense. We have the rune of breakthrough and we have the rune of possessions, nourishment. This is super, super, super souls. You are being asked to drop your defenses here because you're, whenever we're thinking, I don't want, we're in a more defensive mood. Um, it's like, oh, I don't want that. I don't want that. It's like we're, we're literally this, this message from your spirit team. They're saying when you're defensive, you're actually pushing something away. I don't want this. And it means that the support and energy can't be brought in for you and to help you. Breakthrough. The breakthrough will come when you shift your energy. And this is unexpected rewards, gains, surprises. It's ambition satisfied. It's fulfillment, nourishment. It's the stuff of what you want coming to you. Your reading could not be clearer. I will draw an affirmation card just to complete your reading, Super Souls. And yes, what do we have here? Beautiful whale. Oh, look at this. The universe totally supports every thought I choose to think and to believe. This is your affirmation for today. The universe totally supports every thought I choose to think and to believe. And therefore, if you are thinking those positives, the attributes of what you want with that huge focus and emphasis, rather than what you don't want, the universe can then support you. The ascended masters are guiding you. They're working behind the scenes for something that is absolutely right for you, bringing out the biggest, best version of you you're in that in between phase where it hasn't yet emerged, but this is very clear guidance on how to play an active part in making this possible and in being able to receive the support that your spirit team and the Ascended Masters wish to give you. Super Souls, I hope you have enjoyed the reading. Tons and tons of love to you. Have an amazing day. And, um, if you'd like to um, catch all of my readings as soon as I upload them, um, if you subscribe and press the little bell icon, they should come into your stream. Tons and tons of love to you all.